In this video, we're gonna talk about data structures and f that. Let's make a video game. So, how are we gonna do that? From scratch? Hell no. If you ever Google make a video game, you'll probably see Unity, like this one. Good old Brackies. So let's take a stab at it. So I downloaded Unity, clicked new project, and our options are a 2D game, a 3D game, or a 2D ERP, which is something, or say VR. Since I don't hate myself that much, VR is off the table for now. And well, 3D is one more D than 2D, so that sounds harder. So let's go with 2D. But wait, what is the game gonna be? Well, I thought about what could a 2D game be about and realized that the thing I immediately think of when I think of 2D is a platformer. Good ol' Jump Man. Not that one. Mario, as you might know him. Jump Man. The tough thing with a platformer is that it usually requires a bunch of levels, complex platforms, or enemies. And that sounds like a lot of work. So I thought, why not make the enemy yourself? That brings us to what some people call rage games, or as Ludwig calls it, a Fodian game. These are games like Getting Over It, Jump King, and Pogo Stuck. The tenets of a Fodian game are one, Hard to control the player. Two, there should be no randomness, especially with the controls. Three, mistakes could lead to a lot of lost progress, or maybe all of it. And four, fun. That one has a bit of an asterisk though. So for number one, I need to figure out how the player controls the main character. In getting over it, the player uses a sledgehammer from a pot. Kind of crazy. In Jump King, the player just jumps a lot and bounces around a bit. In Pogo Stuck, the player is on a pogo stick. All of these sound great, but I don't want to make a complete clone of the most popular games because that would either be too hard or too lame. I went to the drawing board and came up with the best idea ever. Part of what makes these games the worst, I mean fun, is that the player needs to master the movement of the character and be precise. I figured what's a real world game where you need to be precise? Golf. I mean, come on, you're hitting a ball that's like an inch, hundreds of yards into a tiny hole. Precision is a must, or luck, which kind of sounds perfect for this. The best part of this is that the character can just be a golf ball that can roll. So you might think you've made a perfect shot until you start rolling down a hill and you punch your monitor into next week. So let's make our project. We need a badass name for this one. Let's call it Hard Jump Game. <laughs> Whoa, sounds badass. First things first when you make a game, art. <laughs> Just kidding. That's usually the last thing you do, but I wanted the circle I was testing with to at least smile or smirk at me. What you doing? I've named him Ball man. It's a nice ring to it. So to start out, I need to make the movement not suck. I want the player to be able to drag the mouse and hit the ball some sort of distance. I also want the player to be able to see the direction. Okay, no direction. Now that I have the movement down and my art was pretty set with these green boxes. That's grass guys, right? Right? Okay, I need art. But hey, I wanted the true indie game dev experience and make it all myself. I'll eat those words when I get to music later. So I followed some tutorials by Mort Mort on pixel art. I thought pixel art would be great because I sure as hell can't draw dirt and grass that looks good. But with pixel art, it looks not too bad, especially if you squint. Ugh. After making my beautiful dirt and grass, I learned there are two ways to actually use sprite art, tile maps and sprite shapes. Tile maps are like the quintessential Mario blocks. 
you have a dozen types of blocks and you place those ramps are one of two to three and you're good to go but i'm not about to take the easy route i don't actually know what's easier i wanted my sprites to be able to be curved something like this yeah crazy so you can achieve this with sprite shapes so i watched a tutorial by brackies and it worked perfect ish great so i have a badass character a level i'm basically done after the creating the level i realized that 2d circle colliders are kind of balls when it comes to gravity and friction no offense unity developers love you this is pretty obvious by the fact that if your platform isn't completely flat you will roll for a very long time very slowly since I want people to only be able to hit the ball when the ball stops, this is a problem. I do make a bunch of stars pop out to indicate that you can now hit the ball. Particle system for the win. So I implemented some extra friction for the ball. This means if the ball is touching the ground or anything that's ground, it will apply this friction. It just works by applying a negative force to whatever the current force is. This works in most scenarios to slow the ball down, but has some strange results on hills. But that's fine for now. I then made my level and added a badass windmill. Classic golf or mini putt obstacle. I guess not really golf, but you get it. But what's the point of beating a game if you can't show your superiority to your friends or the world by displaying your impressive score. Since we're playing golf, I figured we could measure the number of strokes it took you to make to the end and also the time. Done. Show strokes and the time. We have strokes, we have the time, and we have how high you are. But this should probably save somewhere, right? So you can show your friend how badass you are later. I'm not about to make a server for this, so I'll just save it locally, but serialized. So you little cheaters, I see you there. So you can't update your score to some obscene values, or at least you can't do it easily. <laughs> I get it now, but serialization was a real pain in the ass. Done. Now, all we need is a game menu. Done. A pause menu. Done. And why not add some badass skins that unlock depending on your wins? Like blue. Or that's it. I made one skin. I'll probably add more skins though when I release this. This whole skin thing took me way long to implement. Done. Now add some sound effects and background music to the game. Done. And now we have what some people are calling the most bug free game of 2022. I added a link in the description if you want to give it a try yourself, but this is my first game, so go easy on the reviews there. Also, you probably don't want to because it kind of sucks. Like the video if you liked this video and dislike it if you didn't. If you want me to do a deep dive into any part of the game or make a specific kind of new game, throw a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. I'm probably going to play around in Unity some more since this was a lot of fun either way. There you go. Perfect. 
don't know what this line is. Oh well. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Holy crap. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, good, 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 good. Stop, stop, stop. That was too much. Hey, God, son of a bitch. Son. Well, that's the game. <laughs>